Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today, we are back in Forza Horizon 3, the full game. This is not the demo. I know there was a lot of, um, maybe some miscommunication about that. Well, not necessarily miscommunication, but, um, I don't, some of you guys were asking me, like, how did I get in the garage, and how did I get, you know, over here and over here? This is the full game. I've played the full game, and, um... What we're going to be doing is, well, we're going to be doing a bit of off-road drifting. Not really, not really, no. This is about some, this is about free roaming, this is about drifting, and this is actually before I customized the S15, before I swapped the four-rotor into it. This actually has the, uh, the factory engine that it came with, so it's a little bit down on power compared to the four-rotor uh, turbocharged engine. And the interesting thing is, when you're going for freestyle drifting in Horizon 3, you definitely want to, uh, definitely want to build something with higher horsepower. It's definitely, it, it, it pays to build something with some horsepower because in Australia, a lot of the corners are a lot longer and a lot more sweeping than maybe, uh, than maybe the games that you're used to or have been used to in the past in the Forza Horizon series. Now, where you would want to start out with drifting, I would say in Horizon 3, is get yourself, obviously get yourself a rear-wheel drive car, and don't really worry about your modifications. Don't really worry about your modifications at the beginning. You can think about modifications and tuning later. The first thing that you need to do, the first thing that you need to um, really get onto and focus on is how you're going to actually initiate your drifting and how you're going to focus on on maintaining the technique of your drifting because if you you can build an insane car and if you don't have the technique you're not going to you're you're not going to get it you're not going to get anywhere if you don't actually practice the technique so I actually recommend practicing with something that's a bit lower horsepower trying to get some drifts like this going and the key to it the key to it is as you come up to the corner, e-brake, clutch in, e-brake, clutch in, and then just counter steer out of it. Don't even worry about getting on the power all that much. Just e-brake, clutch in, give it a little bit of gas on the exit, and then save it. Now, we're holding some bigger slides here, but that's something that you'll get to as you progress forward. Now, some of you guys are going to be saying, well, well, we, we know how to do this, Tomcat. What are you talking about? Why, why are you telling us this? Well, because there's going to be a lot of people getting into drifting in Forza Horizon 3 that maybe haven't played a Forza game before and I wanted to get this tutorial out to you guys very early on before the game even comes out so you guys can prepare yourselves people that are new to the series especially so you can prepare yourselves for getting into drifting in Forza Horizon 3 so you can drift with your friends as soon as you get on the game. Now another main thing you want to think about is the fact that well main thing that you should know is you yeah it's gonna take it's going to take some practice. It's definitely not something that you're going to get immediately. Um, it's going to take some practice before you're good at it. Um, and don't beat yourself up about it if you're not good at it the first few times you try it. Um, it's going to take some getting used to, and it, especially if you're new to the game. And also, if you're also new to the game, make sure you turn all your assists off. Except for, I mean, well, turn traction control off, turn stability control off. You can leave ABS on. I actually personally will usually leave ABS on because most of the cars that I race with generally will have ABS anyway, um, like, well, actually, like, in real life, they'll have ABS anyway, and it just kind of makes a little bit more sense that way, because you're going to be using that, you know, if you were actually racing that car or driving that car, you would be, you would be using ABS anyway, because it would be active in the car at that time. Now, another, another thing that works really well for drifting beginners is to go to a town like this that's got roundabouts, because if you find a roundabout, this is where you can focus on your throttle control. Because if you get that throttle control dialed in on a roundabout, you will be good to go in, you know, in other places like long sweeping corners, tighter corners. Roundabouts, just keep doing the loops around the roundabouts. Don't worry about your points, just get that technique down around the roundabout. Um, points you can think about later. Points are, excuse me, Hyundai Genesis. But no, points are something you can worry about later on down the line. Not necessarily worry about, but worry is a strong word. Think about. Um, there's something you can think about later on down the line because they don't really matter to the um, to the grand scheme of drifting. I mean, yes, they do if you're wanting to if you're wanting to score high, but definitely you know they don't really matter to the technique of it. So find yourself a few roundabouts and really just start making laps. Hello, uh, Ute. Uh, but no, uh, get find yourself some roundabouts. And this particular section of the map is really, really, really good for that. It's really good for, um, really good for people that are starting to learn how to drift, uh, or drifting beginners. And like I said, that this video is mainly targeted towards drifting beginners. And like I said, we find a roundabout, stay about in second gear, and just use the throttle to control your, uh, to control your angle, and then exit the roundabout whenever you see fit. Really, it's, it's, you can spend as long or as little time 
in the roundabout as you want. I mean, if, if you feel like you're really getting it down, you're really getting good at the roundabout stuff, then exit the roundabout and try some of the corners around the area. If you feel like you're spinning out all the time or, you know, going off the road all the time, go back to the roundabout, practice more around the roundabout, practice your throttle control, practice entering the roundabout, exiting the roundabout, and then once you feel comfortable with that, go back out into the world again and try to see see where you are as far as your skill level goes as you progress. So really, all this is about is really figuring out, figuring your car out, and figuring, and then the thing is, once you get the technique down, then you can think about tuning, you can think about camber, you can think about suspension setups, you can think about more horsepower, but the basics always remain the same. The basics of being able to slide a rear wheel drive car around a roundabout or, or around a corner always will remain the same. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope it did help you guys out um, as far as getting into drifting for the beginners in Forza Horizon 3. I wanted to get it out to you guys before the game came out so you had some time to prepare. And again, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed.